Hello, YouTube, Patty. KT here. Um, sorry for the close-up on this angle. I can't uh, zoom this camera out anymore. I'm going to have to get me a wide-angle lens adapter for it. Anyhow, in case you can't tell, I'm actually inside the uh, cab of the Monte Carlo, or the what it is, interior, whatever you want to call it. And I got the old custom wooden speaker box that they had... Uh, <laughs> Fabricated and stuck in here and also pulled out the uh, spare tire holder. That's where the wacky wheel went and uh, Had those little space saver spares I guess back in the day <clears throat> um, Got that out of the way And if anybody's gonna be buying an El Camino pay, pay close to, I mean they're all rusting out in the same areas, but um, You know if you get an opportunity to look at some things you'll have an idea of what it is you're gonna be up against so anyway what uh, when this car was redone way back in whenever, and it was all painted painted brown over the gold, um, they just came in and slathered. This is actually seam sealer under here, it looks like. Could be Bondo, I'm not sure, but uh, that was actually rusted out all the way across that whole lower section. And you can see where they put tar all the way down the black stuff. So it looks like they spray on tar. Here's the uh, spare tire jack. Uh, that be the spare tire holder right there. I don't remember. Maybe this is just a storage box over here. Maybe the back tire, the store, the back tire went over here behind the seat. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Anyhow, um, that might just have been storage. I know they call that a smuggler's box, but I thought they called it a smuggler's box because it went all the way across. Anyhow, I'm wasting time here. What I was gonna do is just come in here with my uh, cutoff tool and start whacking stuff out. But since I've never deconstructed an El Camino before, I'm gonna do it a piece at a time and and sort of pretend that I'm going to reuse the parts and put them back in. So what I'm going to do here on this uh, package shelf or whatever this ledge is across the top here, it looks like um, looks like it's just fastened right here with some uh, with some seam welds on the top here. And uh, same thing over there. So what I'm going to do is cut those first and see if I can get the um, see if I can get the uh, the part out um, without messing it up because that'll give me an idea of you know what it's going to look like going back in and then also um, when I pulled uh, when I separated these two panels here I pulled this front panel out and a big chunk the whole bottom rail of this uh, upper section right fell out completely just this big chunk actually it's right there if you can see it or not it's right there. That whole thing just went clunk down in the bottom of this smuggler's box. <laughs> um, no, uh, no hidden treasure, no stacks of cash or anything like that. So nothing that's going to help me with the <clears throat> cost on this vehicle. But anyhow, I mentioned when I started this video about what to look for when, when if you're looking at an El Camino, and they're all rusting out in the same areas. They're all having the same issues. I went to a junkyard yesterday. Took a bunch of pictures. I might try to post a slideshow. But there's a little place north of Austin, a little town called uh, Belton, and uh, they have a place called Little Valley, little Valley Auto Ranch, and they got a bunch of older cars up there. They had a few El Caminos, but they've already been gutted and picked over, so <clears throat> that or the parts and pieces I need for this one are just as bad on those that they had. So anyhow, my next, uh, next maneuver is going to be to disconnect that at the bottom and get this lower section out because it goes in front of the upper section you can see right here it actually goes in front of the upper section I don't know how it attaches I don't know if it's spot welded or what but um, this whole bottom section right over here just completely all I did was grab it and it fell out you can see the goo that's on here now I don't know if this is factory from back in the day or if this is something that they put in there or what but it's nasty nasty um, it's like that thumb gum stuff I call it thumb gum. I don't know what else you call it. It's some kind of putty. But anyhow, um, the good thing about it is the uh, the main the main flange on the cab itself on the sidewall here. This is all still good, still still in good shape. So uh, I have an idea with this right here. I think this might this section might be part of the bed. No, this is it's an angle bracket. It could be part of this upper section. I don't know. But anyhow, I'm going to see if I can take this apart one little piece at a time, and as I go along, I will uh, show you my progress. 
The only thing I'm not sure about is how this attaches to the upper section in the back here. Um, I think it's all one piece. No, it's actually a seam up here. Just don't know if it's welded together originally or what. But um, I'll try to figure it out and update you with my progress. Check in a bit. Adios. Okay, as I suspected, this uh, upper shelf is definitely collected, connected to the upper rear, the upper back panel section. So what I did basically is just came in here. Here's it's all rusted out over here. You can see. But what I did basically is I came in here with a screwdriver, a heavy duty screwdriver, and opened this seam up a little bit to where I could find all my spot welds. And what I'm going to do, so there's one right there, there's one down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, thin wheel that I have on my cutoff tool, basically just stick it down and uh, stick it down and go through and cut off, cut each one of these spot welds one at a time. Sorry, cut each spot with one of these spot welds one at a time so I can get this top shelf separated and then I'll pull it out. Okay, I got it uh, cut loose on the uh, inside there over here and on the inside over there. And as I had mentioned, um, I also went along the seam, opened that up, and uh, cut the spot welds with my cutoff tool and the shelf is loose now I'm not going to be able to do this one handed but I wanted to show you guys that it's opened up and it is just connected on that side and uh, and the, this other side with that little flange so I'm going to uh, see what it's going to take to get this thing out and I'll check back in stand by okay um, I got it out and Interestingly enough, I, you know, I think I'm going to be able to salvage this thing. I don't know how much, I'm going to check to see how much new ones are uh, before I spend a lot of time on it. Um, and just figure out what my money's worth, you know, or what my time is worth. But uh, I got these out and uh, the little hammer and dolly work, straightened these flanges back up. Looks the rust got down to it a little bit, so it's got a little crack, but I can fill that in with my, uh, with my MIG. Um, on the top, obviously, we have some issues. This is where it was up on the back section. So I've got plenty of lip right here. Um, this is where I cut it loose from the other bracket. But obviously, as we get down this way, uh, I run out of real estate. But this is just a matter of, uh, you know, depending on where I come in here, I could probably come in and cut it back a little bit and then roll uh, roll this in a, uh, in a vise and a couple of pieces of... Uh, hardwood or maybe just come right along the top and uh, put something in but anyhow I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to save this get rid of the rust obviously but try to save this salvage it reuse it um, you know if not uh, if it's cheap enough to find another you know the replacements then I'll just go with that but it all depends on what my time's worth and I'll figure that out later on <coughs> excuse me I'll check in with you guys and a second and show you where it came from all right so this is where it came from and uh, we've got this little support brace that runs under the bottom here and from the pictures that I've seen for the upper back support um, I haven't seen any that show this inside view so I don't know if uh, if I knew back piece comes with a support or not uh, I really don't I'm gonna have to study this for a little bit and figure out how they were able to uh, get that get that one piece up here and set it in place they may have just come up and once they got it in place and then and then back you know attached to this back piece they may have come in under the bottom and just spot welded with some little really small spot weld tube tool and just came up and uh, you know hit one at a time I'm not sure how they would uh, have, uh, I'm not sure how they would have been able to do it otherwise and if that's the case that's going to be tricky because this shelf comes down like this here and being able to get back in there with a with a MIG welder 
with a torch head is going to be uh, that's going to be real interesting. Um, might be a situation where I have to do uh, do nuts and bolts to once I get the once, you know when it when it goes back in place. Maybe a situation where I have to drill holes in that and bolt it together. But uh, looks like it's got a spot weld every on average about three or four inches. And again, over here, completely gone. So uh, here's the inside of this. Uh, a B pillar or cab support or whatever you want to call it over here and that's the one over there where it came out of it's got a little tab that they cut open and flip down and the uh, shelf sits right on that so uh, anyhow um, that's it for this step and I will go on to the next which is getting this back section out fun stuff and we'll check in in a bit Adios. Last week I got on my soapbox and I was talking about doing shitty work. You know, don't don't uh, don't half-ass things. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this isn't a factory what I just found, but uh, let me show you what uh, let me show you what they did here. So it looks like well I missed a screw. And I don't know, you tell me. I've never taken a El Camino apart, an El Camino apart, but um, I can't help but think that. Uh, um, oh, no, I didn't miss the screw. That one stripped out. That this piece wasn't screwed in originally. So I'm thinking it was probably installed after the fact by the monkeys that uh, did the work here. Oh, for crap. Looks like I've got a Hang on a second. I think I've got one more screw. Yes, another screw. Is that one right there? Yep, stand by. Let me take that one out. Uh, what was I saying? I was oh, I recorded a video last week where I got on my soapbox and did a little bitching and raising hell about uh, people half-assing doing shitty work. Um, and I was debating on whether or not I'm going to put it up, but I am. I'm going to put it up as a tribute to what I found today. Um, just terrible, the fact that uh, somebody charged a customer. Now, whether the customer, I mean, if the customer expects this kind of work, then maybe you need to be a little more patient with your customer. But, um, yeah, it's just terrible. I mean, th there's, there's no reason for it. Uh, to, to, if that's what they, you know, that's the expectation they have. That's the kind of work they think you do. Then send them on down the road. Um, that's if you have customers. That's if you're going to do this for somebody. If you're going to do it yourself, don't do crap like that. But anyhow, uh, as a tribute to this shit that I found on this particular panel here, I'm going to go ahead and post that video. Just me getting on my soapbox, raising a little hell, and using some f words. I don't. Know, maybe I didn't use the f word. I don't know. I'll put parental guidance on it. I was a little fired up about some stuff. some stuff I found in the back quarter panel. Uh, well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <coughs> Opened and exposed, and what a mess! What a mess! I'm going to find out a lot more about this El Camino than I planned on. I thought I was just going to be able to do some half sections on this floor pan, but it looks like I might end up having to do the whole... Ooh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Well, we discovered it together. Um, I think uh, <coughs> I think I'm gonna call it a day uh, for the uh, for the video updates. Sorry. 
I think I'll call it a day for the video updates. And uh, try to get this stuff cleaned up. Give myself some, some time to come in and get this uploaded. So you guys can see what kind of progress or regress I made today. <sighs> try not to get disturbed or discouraged about this, but I've got a budget set. And if I have to start buying expensive uh, bed parts for this thing, if I have to start buying expensive bed parts for this thing, I might end up blowing my budget. I don't know. Unless I can find a junkyard somewhere that's got some parts and pieces that aren't completely eaten up that I can still buy for cheap and repair. These aren't repairable. Okay, I might uh, drop in tomorrow with a, another update. Don't know what kind of progress I'm going to make. But uh, aside from that, everybody take care. Hope you're doing well.